Hi, this is Paul Carrick. You're listening to Six Towns Radio. We love music. You are locked into Six Towns Radio. It is Six Towns Radio. Going over to telephones today, we've got somebody who's no stranger to Six Towns Radio. I want to welcome him back to the show, Paul Carrick. Hi, mate. <laughs> we love having you on our show, and uh, it's nearly time uh, for the Victoria Hall show in Stoke. That's right. Um, would you happen to know the date? Because I'm not sure what date it is. It's coming up soon, I think. <laughs> well, you do that many gigs, Paul. You're so in demand, <laughs> I can imagine. But it's on uh, January the 17th. Ah, uh, OK. OK, good. OK, well, that'll be... Hopefully that'll be good, because we've had some good nights at the Victoria Hall. Last, no, the last tour was particularly good. Uh, great crowd. So, um, yeah, it's always good fun to play there. Yeah, it must be, else you wouldn't put it on the tour, really. <laughs> well, we might do, you know. We're not, we're not that fussy. We're, if you've got a theatre, we'll play there, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I've just been looking at the tour dates. Of course, um, you've had a busy year, and is it something that you'll never stop doing, touring? Well, yes, of course. There will come that time. I'm just, don't want to think about it. <laughs> I mean, um... At the moment, you know, it just seems to get better and better each year. So, obviously, that can't last forever. But, um, you know, we'll just we'll just crack on. And I'm sure once people stop coming, then that's when I'll probably take up golf or something or uh, knitting. I don't know which. But uh, at the moment, it, you know, things are going pretty good. So, I mean, we know things can change in a heartbeat. You know, you can come and bite you on the bum. But... Um, that's going great at the moment, so um, long may it continue. Yeah, exactly. I can't see people not coming, to be honest. <laughs> um, next year, when you're doing a gig at Stoke, it'll be 25 yeah. years since the living years. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I believe that um, Mike Rutherford, uh, you know, from Mike and the Mechanics, is making a big bit of a thing about it, but um, I, I'm, I'm not with the band anymore, although, you know, I do perform that song uh i did sing the the original version with, with mike um and i always include it in my own solo show but, but where 25 years has gone i have no idea i mean it just, just didn't seem that long ago to be honest <laughs> i know and um in your time i've read that you've appeared on 60 odd albums so everyone must know a song that you've been on everybody it might be more than that by now. I think they were saying that years ago, to be honest with you. But uh, I, I'm not counting. I'm just I just get get on with it, you know. But uh, it's it, it is always uh, you know it's surprising that we, we we always get people who say, "I never knew you did that song," you know. "I never knew you banged that one," or "I never knew you played that." Or it's so uh, it, it's still happening, but uh, that's okay. You know, it's good. Yeah, and this year you've got a new album, Rain or Shine, out in November. Yeah. It's a mixture of tracks. Indeed. You've written five, on not you? I've written five, and uh, they're, they're all kind of in my sort of pop, soul kind of style. Um, and then we've also done five kind of classics, you know, Ray Charles songs, um, a couple of Ray Charles, a, a Bobby Bland song, a, a Brenda Lee song even. Probably way, way, way before your time, I'm sure. <laughs> but uh, so it's a, it's kind of a mixture, and you know, I, I, I I'm really proud of the album. I, I know, I'm not just saying that. I think it's the best I've done. So you know, but it's, it's going well, going well. Exciting! We've got the song "That's All That Matters to Me." We're going to play it in a minute, but um, it's a new <laughs> single that's out um, the same week as the album, I think, and it's about your daughter, isn't it? Well, it is in a way. I mean, um, I had this little tune. And um, I wasn't sure what to, I always, you know, usually anyway, it's the music that comes quite easy to me. And then I have to think, well, what am I going to make this about? And um, it did come into my mind. My daughter's out there traveling all over the world at the moment in the Far East and some places that worry me a bit, you know. <laughs> and uh, so it's a little bit about that. And I'm just saying, you know, I understand she's got to do that. Um, but as long as she's okay, that's all that matters to me. I suppose you can claw some family time back at Christmas, can you? Because uh, I know you take December off and then go back out in January. Ah, uh, well, that's where you're wrong, you see, because we're not. I'm, I won't be touring in the UK in December, uh, but I'll be over uh, in Germany. I mean, I'm over in Germany. That's why it doesn't show up 
<laughs> on the thing. On, but um, no, in December I go to Germany and I work with a swing band out there, a, a jazz orchestra, 17-piece um, thing. I, 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 it's about five, six years ago now I made a, a Christmas album of, of, you know, the Christmas classics yeah, in the yeah, remember, swing, yeah. swing style. And um, so since then, I've been going over there every December playing concerts. And uh, that makes a nice change. You know, it's something completely different. Yeah. And then, uh, cr yeah, Christmas, I will be at home for sure. <laughs> Definitely. And uh, and then we kick off again January. And February, I go to Japan with Eric Clapton. I mean, playing his band. Um, I, I, I was on tour with him for three or four months this year. And next year, I'll be going... Um, down to Japan with him, which I've never been there before, so I'm looking forward to that. Reiterating on that point, the most indie man person in music, and uh, I remember watching uh, a bit of the, the Man with the Golden Voice that was on BBC4. Did you enjoy that? Well, yeah, I did. I mean, you know, I don't like watching myself mm. doing anything, um, but um, I think it was it came across pretty genuine, you know. I mean, um, I, I was worried that it might be a bit boring because there's no... Uh, there's not much scandal in there, you know, <laughs> but uh, it's, I think it came over quite well and um, people said a lot of nice things about it. It certainly seemed to help um, the tour as well, because as I say, last year we, we had our best tour ever. We, you know, we were so, sold out all over the place. So um, I don't think that did any harm in that respect either. No, no. Well, so well, thank you today for doing this. Uh, you're a total legend and very modest as well, to boot. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I think it was Winston Churchill that said, well, he, he's, he's very modest, but he's got a lot to be modest about. <laughs> <laughs> very true. Thank you very much, Paul. Bye-bye. Ta-da. <laughs>